Hey there, Ron. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank you for <clears throat> um, raising this topic because it is something that I think we've all dealt with. And um, I haven't heard really anybody else talking to it, talking about it the way that that you're addressing it. Um, and I, I'm kind of in a similar situation as to what Jody experienced where I was in a position in a support role and someone with a very different set of skills um, and experience um, left. They resigned because the, the environment was so toxic, they couldn't take it anymore. And all of a sudden they start putting his responsibilities on me. And, and these are things that are way outside like I was brought in as sort of admin support and all of a sudden they're having me do um web app product owner responsibilities wow. like doing user acceptance testing and again similar to Jody when I when I raised that this is this is way outside of the scope of what I was brought in to do this is you know just <laughs> it, it was a huge stretch for me, but there was, there was no, um, no real support or, or sympathy. And I, and I, you know, honestly think part of it was that we were such a small team that my supervisor and the director were just so busy. Like they, it just felt like they were losing their minds every day. Um, and it's really hard to be in that situation where you want to grow and you want to to please them and um you know you're doing your best to learn but the expectations are 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 really just quite unrealistic and and ridiculous um and it takes a real your self esteem takes a real hit i i was uh out of work for about a year after that i just um actually i got a temp assignment this um the spring and that sort of helped me that's that's in fact helped me put the other experience behind me um but i was let go as well oh. and um it's just it's hard to recover from something like that and i don't know if you can speak to how you can because of course you know the next time you go into another job you're going to have that imposter syndrome again and based on the previous experience where un unrightfully they were calling you an imposter basically um you know <laughs> because they had unrealistic expectations but, yeah. i just don't know how how you would deal with something like that in in a sense, they were the ones who put a mask on you rather than you trying to hide behind your own mask. You know? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and actually, uh, one one thing you didn't mention, I was thinking that that probably impacted you when you were interviewing. Yes. You know, all these thoughts. So so even before you became an imposter, it's like it's like well, uh, you know, here here are areas I fall sh I fell short in my last job. Yeah, and it's really affected, I'll be honest, it's really affected my confidence and my ability um, to, you know, now I look at job descriptions and if I see something that looks like it's going to be a heavy lift, um, mm -hmm. I won't even apply. I just, I it's like I'm doing the, my current temp, I, I would love to continue um, with a temp assignment that I have, it's like very basic admin stuff because I just don't have that self-confidence that I once did. Yeah, I wish, so I, I kind of wish we'd get some HR people to join some of these discussions. <laughs> so they realize this, this is the impact that, um, you know, that ha what, what impacts people who are looking for work. That, that yeah. You know, you're not getting the the right view of things when someone's has you know thinking that way. And now, are you still looking, Beth, or did you actually find something? I, I, it was so I I had it. I'm in. I'm actually going to be wrapping up a temp assignment. Um, November first, it will be over, and I'm starting 
you know, I'm, I'm continuing the job hunt, but it, it's, it's just, I feel very stymied. I feel like I'm stuck and I am having a very difficult time with it. Did, did your temp, this, this temp position you had, did that help you feel, feel more it, confident? It with? did. Yeah. I mean, these people are, have been great to work with the other, the other environment was very toxic. Um, this has been a very supportive environment. It's it's just been 30 hours a week. And it's, again, it's like pretty rote uh, admin stuff. And I, I'm, I, you know, I have a lot of experience and I was like senior, uh, senior management in, in a place where I worked for 21 years. But all of a sudden now I feel like all I want to do is just this low stress, admin type stuff where you're just literally doing getting things done that's like data entry and moving things around and um and not really even wanting to challenge myself with something more because it just to me in my brain that translates immediately into high stress okay yeah out of curiosity does doing does moving shifting to lower level work like that does that are, are you getting bored with that and want to move on to something else or are you just happy i'm actually really happy i was actually doing something it was it was so basic i was it was very physical it was just um so i'm supporting a conference um a big tech conference and it was literally just taking physical folders and filling them with paper different types of paperwork and I just found that so relaxing <laughs> and almost meditative that I thought I could do this for the rest of my working life <laughs> if I was able to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the challenge is finding more people willing to pay you to do that. Yeah, exactly, exactly.